Hello, my name is Saad Ali. I'm here with Dylan and Connor. Uh, this is SBC Network. We'll be covering week one of the NFL season, the Monday Night Football matchup between the Jets and the 49ers. So we're going to start with who we think our X factors for this game are going to be for each team to win. Connor, who do you think is going to be the X factor for the Jets? For the Jets, I think the X factor and the biggest storyline is obviously Aaron Rodgers. He has proven two-time MVP in the last three or four years. He's proven that he has what it takes to be an elite NFL quarterback, but can he break through with the Jets and win only his second Super Bowl this season? I think the 49ers are an excellent test just as they are one of the top contending teams in the NFC and quite possibly who the Jets would face in a possible Super Bowl matchup. That's a good take, that's a good take. Now, who do you think the X Factor for the Giants is gonna be doing? Sorry, the 49ers, that's my bad. I mean, this 49ers offense is really good. I think the X Factor, if he's still there or if not, it's gonna be Brandon Ayuk or Debo Samuel. I mean, if Sauce Gardner can lock them up, it's going to put all the offense on Christian McCaffrey. And then at that point, it's just down to Christian McCaffrey to kind of have to execute. So, I mean, I think the 49ers offense is obviously really great. But I feel like the Jets defense inside and on the outside is going to have to step up a little bit. So, on the contrary, who do you think the X factor for the 49ers will be? Uh, I, I'm going to say it's Brock Purdy, I think. Brock Purdy was a good but not great quarterback last season. And I think especially if Brandon Ayuk does not end up playing tonight. We'll see what happens when he doesn't have three or four, I guess, if you count George Kittle, uh, weapons that would be ones or twos on other NFL teams. This might be the, a tough test for Purdy, especially against Sauce Gardner in this dominant de Jets defense. Now on the contrary for you, Dylan, who do you think the X Factor for the Jets will be? I've got to go Sauce Gardner here. He's got to lock up the um, receivers for the 49ers. And C.J. Mosley in the middle of the field, if he can get through that line, start tackling Christian McCaffrey and putting pressure on that running game, it's going to force Brock Purdy, that young quarterback, going into his third season to throw the ball down the field with Sauce Gardner in coverage. So I think, yeah, it's going to be that. All right, now with a week one win, what would it mean for the Jets? Well, I think the Jets, if they win in week one, especially if they win dominantly on the road against the reigning NFC champion, I think it proves that they are in serious contention for that uh, AFC division. I think that division got a lot weaker this offseason. There's a lot of question marks around Tua and whether he can become a good or great NFL quarterback. And the Bills lost Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen's primary weapon. So I think if the Jets win today, that makes them the favorites to win their division. Now, what do you think the, a win for the 49ers would mean going forward for the rest of their season? Win a Super Bowl. I mean... They lost Super Bowl last year. Didn't do much at the trade deadline, but, I mean, that offense is still absolutely incredible. Got some stars all over the defense. I mean, San Francisco, you got to go win the Super Bowl this year. All right, thank you. Now, this is the final thing. Score prediction, and who's going to win? So, I am going to go with 21-14 uh, for the 49ers. I think at home, the reigning NFC champions, the crowd is going to be crazy. And let's be honest, there's a lot of question marks over whether an old very old Aaron Rodgers will be the same especially coming off that Achilles injury there's a lot of question marks around this Jets team and I just don't think they have what it takes to beat the reigning NFC champions champions on the road and you doing I mean it's gonna sound kind of crazy but I got 24 10 Niners the Jets have a good team they just don't seem to ever perform like it I mean Robert Sala as that head coach seems to never really have his team out there ready to play and I don't think it's gonna happen week one on primetime Similarly, I uh, believe that the 49ers will score 24 points, but I do think it'll be a closer game. I think the Jets will score 17. You can see this game on SBC Network coming up to you next after these ads.